Hey hello everyone my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel In this video we will see how to hide SharePoint list or library by using Power Automate okay so if you see we have here hide SharePoint list okay this is visible to everyone now okay but if you see in the site content as well okay so this site is visible okay we can search for this site as well hide share point so you can be see we can able to find okay so if i go to the home page as well okay and search here the list name so i can easily able to find this list here okay so it is loading let's i showcase you in the in the all the sections we have this list okay so if i go okay so in the main it is not display okay but here it is display okay so we implement the hide functionality so end user should not able to view this list okay so if they not able to view this list so they cannot make directly changes in this list okay but they can interact with the form they have the same security permissions as they have okay with the parse okay but they only directly not able to search or not able to see in your sharepoint okay if they have this list link okay available with them or handy with them they can able to open that list and able to see the list as well okay so let's i go to the mac dot power automate okay click on the instant cloud flow this is one time activity we are doing so that's why using instant cloud flow let's provide the flow name here okay head sharepoint list or library using power automate and just simply select a manual trigger and click here on the create here so now manually trigger is present okay now we need the sharepoint http request okay so we simply search here http because we do this thing okay by using http action we will send http request to the sharepoint okay and do this so let's i provide the site address here okay my site address is merge okay let's change the action from get to post okay here we need to give the uri okay for the uri i just write a blog okay so if you able to let's say okay so i just write a blog okay so this link is available in the description box okay from there you can access this blog okay so from there you just have to go to copy this uri okay just came to the power automate okay and simply paste this here okay after pasting you need to go and use this name okay hide if you are in this list okay so you have to copy the name from the here okay from the url just go to your power automate instead of this curly brackets okay just type your list name okay then here click on the show all then we have the headers simply click on the switch to text mode okay and then let's let i reopening the blog okay and just copy this header here okay by using control c and paste it here and just turn on this so in this tabular format you can able to see then we need the body so body is also provided okay so simply copy the body here okay and paste this okay So let's I explain. Okay, what is this? So here it is metadata. We are taking the metadata of the site and checking, making it hidden, true, and no crawl means no one able to search in the site here. So we created flow successfully. Let's I save the flow now. Okay, and let's test the flow once. Okay, and see what is happening now. Okay. but before that i just copy this list so we can able to open the our list okay so let's i click on the test manually and click here test 
it is loading to save our flow okay for signing just click on continue run flow click on done so our flow runs successfully you can be see now okay and if i go to the share point okay from the let's i go to the share point let's i go to my site okay merch okay here you can be see my site is missing okay if we, this is my previous one so here it is present okay let's i go to the site content now okay In the site content also site is not visible sorry list is not visible okay but if you want to access this list in the power automate okay in such a case for the development purpose okay so list row get list so by using this action you can get your list okay find the list it will showcase here you have that list okay so let's like go and search for the get item okay we will okay so in this action i can give the sharepoint list site okay merge and if you see here okay here also our hidden list is not coming okay if you able to see it is not showcasing let i click on the enter custom and i can add the custom name okay it will work fine if you go and see this okay or you can see so in this way it will run fine okay with the power apps also okay if you go to the make dot power apps so now you can see we are in the make dot power apps let's say try to add the same sharepoint list here okay let's simply click share point okay adding here okay our list is merge okay here you can be see we not have our list okay but if i go and paste the name here okay if i know and click on the connect so it will add here you can access the data as well from this list okay you can be see the list is added successfully and if you have the url okay you can access that list by using the url as well okay with the same thing okay you can be see here so that's all friends okay by using this you can hide your sharepoint list and this is very powerful feature i hope you should use in your all the sharepoint sites okay list whenever you sh share your application from dev to the prod okay in that case you use this feature thank you friends have a nice day keep learning keep growing